Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca. Let's talk about makeup. I am here to update you on my deck of panning project pan for the month of May. I am very excited. This is coming at you a little bit late. Listen, it's been a month. It's been a month and a half. But you know what? We got some work done toward our makeup usage goals. This project was created by Emily from Emily and Max. I will put a link to her channel below as well as all the information you need to join us in our deck of panning adventure. This really is, it really intimidated me when I first started this project. <laughs> if you go back and see my intro for this year, I, you could see how like terrified I was. <laughs> Wasn't sure what I was getting myself into, but this really has become one of my favorite projects. So I will link to Emily's channel below. I'll link all the information that you need if you wanna jump in and join us. This project began in January and go to the end of the year. I think it has a single month break. I'll let editing Rebecca correct me if I'm wrong, but it is never too late to jump in and just have a little bit of fun. We're not rolling out everything this month, but I'm still very pleased with the progress I've been able to make. So let's get into it. First is my Pat McGrath Sunlit Seduction Palette. This is a palette that I have had in since February. I used it nine times in February, but I think it was my March update that I decided to keep it in for a total of 30 uses. So I have made a fair amount of progress toward that. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting close. So February, after my February update, I used it nine times. I then used it seven times in March. I have used it uh, nine times since my April update. So I am at sitting at 25 uses for this palette. I have really had a lot of fun digging into this palette. She's a little, she's, she's gotten a little dirty from all the use there. And wouldn't you know it, I don't think I took a starting photo. When I first rolled this into the project, my intent was only to use it for 10 uses. I don't see a lot of visible progress on uh, palettes in the 10 uses or under range, so I didn't bother to take a photo. And now I'm kicking myself for that. Um, I still, I don't have any major dips or any pans. They don't look untouched, but they definitely don't look like any other shadow I have that I've used 25 times. You know what I'm saying? So we are keeping this one in for another five uses. As far as the cards that I drew last month, I drew the seven of hearts, which was the threes a crowd prompt. And for that, I pulled in another Pat McGrath product of mine. This is my Pat McGrath Labs Bijou Brilliance Bronze and Glow Trio. You can kind of see by the halo of bronzer around this pan that I've been getting quite a lot of use out of this one. I rolled it in for 10 uses and I have used it 11 times. Um, I really actually enjoyed this quite a bit more than I thought I would. This one swatched next to my other bronzers and even on the cheeks really, it, it seemed, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you. Let me take my watch off. It seemed uh, very um, light and I didn't think I was gonna get a lot of use out of it once I had a little bit more color in my skin. However, it actually builds pretty well, this, this bronzer here. So, and I like the neutral tone. Okay, and here is the blush. Came with this. This is in the shade, they have several, she has several of these, I think. This is Forever Nude. So the bronzer is in Nude Honey. And this is Naked Peony right here. And the highlighter is something opal. It's a little bit icier than I usually go for when um, I'm highlighting, uh, which to be honest, isn't often, um, but is pretty with the other products. So let's see. Yes, it's Opal Allure is the name of the highlighter. So I use this in total 11 times. I used the bronzer nine times. I used the blush 10 times and I used this uh, highlighter twice. So the starting weight on this one was 122.71 grams and it is now at 122.52 grams. Uh, it's gonna take me um, quite a bit more use to make any serious dent on this one. But I'm gonna go ahead and call this a gold met and I'm going to roll this out. Unless otherwise noted, the goals for all of these are 10 uses. I tend to get bored really, really easily when it comes to my makeup and I, I really crave variety in my daily use of makeup. So 10 uses is about as much as I can do. Obviously I, I rolled this Pat McGrath palette in for more uses because I really, really do love this palette, but even I'm starting to get a little bit tired 
of pink and gold right now. So I, I feel like I've been pink pink and gold while that definitely is my jam. I'm I'm about where I need to be in order to set this one aside for a while. Um, but I'm glad I've gotten the use that I have out of it. All right, so the next card that I pulled was the Three of Diamonds, which was for the prompt brand new. And for that, I rolled in my Buxom Lip Cream in the shade Dolly, which is one of my very newest purchases. And I think it's still in my purse, so hold please. When I rolled this in, I was a little lazy. It was already in a handbag and I just didn't feel like digging it out and weighing it or I didn't take a photo. Although it was almost brand new when I rolled it into the project. So I didn't expect to see like a line necessarily quite yet. I rolled this in for 10 uses and I used it 10 times. I really do enjoy this. I do think it's a little bit pale and pink for me, particularly when I'm a little closer to my summer shade as I am right now. Uh, however, I really love this formula. I love it. I think I might like it even more than the lip polish that they do. Maybe just a little bit more than the lip polish because you can't feel that very fine shimmer that's in the lip polish. But as of yet, I have not found a color in the cream formula that I enjoy as much as brandy in the lip polish formula. Anyway, really, really enjoying this. I will, I'm, I'm rolling it out, but I will continue to use it 100%. Next, I drew the three of clubs. The prompt for that one was something glittery and I rolled in this, my Moira glitter liner. Now, I spent a lot of time traveling this month and I don't know how you are when you are traveling, but I pair my makeup and skincare way back and there really isn't a whole lot of room <laughs> on my list for glitter liner while road tripping on a family vacation. You know what I'm saying? So I only actually use this three, no, four times. I use this four times. I did weigh this one. I came into the project at 19.51 grams and went, uh, it's, it's not going out. I'm keeping it in. I've only used it four times. So we're at 19.34 uh, grams at this point. I will continue to use it until I have gotten the full 10 uses. So this one is staying in. Likewise, okay, where is the other one? The next one I also have not quite met my goal on and this one I rolled, I can't remember the card that I drew initially. I don't remember what it was. I'd have to go back and <laughs> look at the video to remember what it was but I pulled a card for a prompt I did not want to do. I did, there were only a few options that I had and I just wasn't interested. So I used the optional skip, um, which means you are allowed to discard a card of your choice, but in its place, you have to draw two cards, two. And then you have to take the prompts indicated by both cards and find a product that fits both prompts. And I uh, drew the five of diamonds, which was gemstone and the six of clubs, which was focus. Basically it's um, referring back to the, your original uh, goals that you began the year with as far as panning goes. And I think, and the way I chose to interpret that was at going into my panning goals, the whole reason I began panning in the first place was because I want to be a little bit more deliberate and methodical about using the entirety of my collection. I don't want makeup in my collection that I haven't used. I don't want makeup in my collection that I've only used a handful of times. I want to be able to use and enjoy the makeup that I have. So I chose to pull in my Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Vivid Labradorite, which is this um, somewhat, <laughs> It's a gray, okay, but the shimmer is just, it's a little underwhelming. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. It is on the eyes, blended out, and once it dries down, once this dries down, I do feel like it really resembles a dark gray satin eyeshadow. There's nothing particularly sparkly about it. Did I just go over my other swatches? I think I did, oh well. Um, it just, it kind of turns into, do you see what's happening there? It's a losing a lot of that wet shine that it had initially as it dries down. I do find the other shimmer and glows in Stila's line to be significantly shinier, but this is a product that I had only used maybe once or twice since I got it. And I had not used it at all in the last year, possibly not even the year before. So 
I decided because this uh, filled both both the gemstone and my original yearly focus when it came to my panning goals, I chose to roll this in. And I have to tell you, this has been hard. I have really struggled with this one, finding a way that it is useful to me at all. It's not dark enough on me. It's not dark enough really to be an eyeliner. I can, I feel like it doesn't go on the eye quite like this. Um, I can build it up to give it a little bit more depth. Um, at least once I mixed it in with an, an eyeshadow to uh, increase the depth of the liner, but I regularly wear black liner. My eyelashes are black, my eyebrows are black, my hair is black. I, I don't necessarily think that something that's off black for me, I'm already a high contrast lady. <laughs> so I don't love it as a liner. It's patchy as a base. I can't get it to blend out smoothly uh, like I can my Huda liquid liners, the matte ones. Um, I just I really struggled to find a way to use this that I actually enjoyed it. One way I thought it was pretty, I want to say inoffensive, <laughs> not amazing, but inoffensive, was using it just here on the inside corner of my tear duct to give sort of a almost sort of fox eye-ish look without having to draw in a sharp point. It was fine. It was fine. I, I wasn't in love with any of the ways that I was able to use it. I'm at a little bit of a loss with this one, to be perfectly honest, and I would not be surprised if uh, it did not end up being decluttered sooner or later. So I rolled this one in for 10 uses. I used it eight times, which is a little surprising to me. I, I actually got a fair number of uses out of it, just trying to make it work in some capacity. <laughs> uh, I did not weigh it for whatever reason, but uh, the weight currently is at 33.3 grams and it is going to be staying in for another two uses before I roll it out. And then yeah, seriously consider just decluttering it because so far it just, it, it's not bringing anything to my collection that I feel like I need, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, so those are all of the products that I have been working on over the last month. And I'm going to draw a card uh, in place of the Pat McGrath Trio, um, Buxom Dolly, and we're leaving the Moira glitter in, but I think I'm gonna draw a new card in place of Vivid Labradorite. Uh, even though I still have a couple more uses to get on this one, I can see that happening within the next week. And I'm, and I'm bored, <laughs> I'm bored. I need some new things to play with. So even though I'm not 100% done with the uses on this one and I do intend to finish those out I'm still going to draw another card in its place because I need some new stuff to play with. Uh, we're going to do the card drawing a little bit differently than we usually do. I usually get out my iPad and I screen cap you uh, missingdice.com however my husband surprised me today with a deck of playing cards uh, which was incredibly sweet of him uh, he thought that maybe it would help make my editing a little bit easier. He is just, he's just such a sweetheart. So I have my deck of cards here. These are Mandalorian uh, playing cards that he got for me. As you may or may not know, I am a total Star Wars geek. I love everything Star Wars related. Um, and uh, yeah, so I have a little deck of Mandalorian playing cards here and we are going to draw our cards. That was very sweet of my husband. <laughs> I have pulled out the two jokers. There's, isn't this adorable? So we've got a Jawa and we've got a Tusken Raider, which is one of the sand people. So I'm just gonna set aside the Tusken Raider Joker, which is the white Joker. And I'm going to put, or the black Joker. I'm gonna put the red Joker in. So here we go. This is a brand new deck of cards. I opened it today. It's really hard to shuffle a brand new deck of cards. So I'm gonna do my best here. I don't know, is that a pleasant sound? Is that an annoying sound? <laughs> Won't know until I edit. I can shuffle mid air. I just can't bridge mid air. No. <laughs> All right. Couple more. Right. I figure that's as good as it's gonna get. All right, so we're drawing three cards. First one is the two of hearts. 
This is the Two of Diamonds. And this is the Eight of Spades. All right, I'm the Eight of Clubs. <laughs> Clubs. <laughs> I'm gonna scoot over here so you can see the game board with me. The first card that I pulled was the Two of Hearts, which is something seasonal. And then I pulled the Two of Diamonds, which is eyeshadow. And then the Eight of Clubs, which is something representing another project. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to go pull my product products. Liana, products. I just spent a stupid amount of time trying to say products instead of projects. As Liana says, that's a whole lot of peas, okay? I'm going to go pull my products for this project and I will be right back. All right. I have chosen my products. I'm a little surprised at the products that I ended up pulling. Okay. So the seasonal prompt, let's go with that one first. So for the seasonal prompt, I have decided to roll in my honest beauty, invisible blurring loose powder. Now this is a setting powder that is legit. If you need something that's going to mattify, and it's going to mattify for a while. It, other oily combo girls out there, you know the struggle. You set down your face, you leave your house, or you sit down to film, and 15 minutes later, it's like you didn't powder at all. It's like it vanished into your skin, right? This one will actually keep you matte for a significant period of time. And because of that, it is a little bit too heavy duty for me in the wintertime. Like a lot of people, I tend to be a little bit drier in the wintertime. But during the summertime, when I just need a little bit of matte through the T-zone, I usually don't spend too much time really fighting the oil production. But when I do need to be matte, this is one that I will reach for. And so, yeah, I'm going to roll this one in as my seasonal product. And for the prompt eyeshadow across all of projects that I'm in, I'm working on a lot of eyeshadow. So I really tried to stay very simple with this one because I tend to go for more uncomplicated, easy makeup during the summertime. If I'm going to do, use a single shadow and if I'm going to do a one and done eyeshadow, it's going to be during the warmer months and it's going to be this eyeshadow here this is my l'oreal 24 hour infallible eyeshadow in the shade amber rush do y'all remember this do you all remember this so it comes in this little pot and it has this little stopper to kind of press it down it's a semi-loose powder she was all the rage on youtube years ago years ago and for good reason look look at her do you see this do you see how pretty that is? That all over the eyelids? Yes, please. This is such a nice shade. And she wears for a long time. I don't have any problems with creasing with this one. So I am going to go ahead and roll that in for 10 uses. The powder is also coming in for 10. Well, actually, no. The powder... Okay, let's backtrack for a second. The powder, I think I'm going to roll this in to finish. This is actually in my 24 and 24, which I don't personally treat as a separate project that I'm working on and tracking uses in just kind of a statement of intent. These are the products I'd like to use up this year. And I'm using it as a pool from which to pull first when I'm uh, bringing products into other projects. So I'm actually getting, getting pretty close with the powder here. Um, and I would like to finish this. So I think I'm going to roll this in to complete, which means she's going to be with us for a little while. It's going to take me a while to get through this. So I, I she'll probably be like my Pat McGrath palette that has been with us for a few updates. Now the infallible eyeshadow, I'm rolling this in for 10 uses as usual. And then my last prompt was something that refers to another project. And it doesn't say a project I have to participate in. There's other projects. <laughs> that I wish I had time for, but I just don't. There is a project called the Happy Hour Project Pan, and this was created by Deb B and Danny from Danny's Makeup. There are 40 prompts in that project, and I just randomized that, and I ended up with the number four prompt. The fourth prompt in that project this round is Cheers, something in a glass bottle. So for that, I am pulling in my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Longwear High Cover Foundation. I have this in the shade 4.5. I am, I don't love this one on its own. I, I feel like it's a little heavy, a little, a little obvious on the skin. It's a, just a little, it, it's not flattering. 
in my opinion. I don't think it's too high coverage because I have some really high coverage foundations that are a lot prettier than this. However, I have found that I do like mixing this into like BB creams and CC creams to just give them a little bit more coverage and a little bit more staying power on my oily combo skin. And I do have a number of BB slash CC creams that I am trying to finish up at the moment. So I thought I'd roll this in to help me finish those off. I am rolling this in for 10 uses. So that is my update for deck of panning for the month of May. How did you do? Are you doing deck of panning? Uh, if you had gotten my prompts, what would you have chosen? Inquiring minds want to know. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.